In order to answer this question, the first, first thing we need to decide, what, what is meant by a depreciation of the rand against the dollar? Well, the best is to illustrate it with an example. Let's assume the current price of the dollar is 5 rand. In other words, this is the current exchange rate. Now, there's a depreciation of the rand against the dollar. In other words, the rand price of dollar has increased. Let's say it increased to 10 rand. So, this is an illustration of the depreciation of the rand against the dollar. We need to use this information to discuss the effect on imports and exports. Now, let's take exports. We export wine to America. Now, let's say a case of wine cost 100 rand. Now, if you're an American and you want to buy a case of wine in South Africa, which costs 100 rand, then at an exchange rate of 5 rand to the dollar, how many dollars will it cost you? Now, at this exchange rate, for every dollar that you dish out, you get 5 rands. But you need 100, 100 rand, so how many dollars will it cost you? Well, 100 divided by 5, and that is 20. So, in dollar terms, this case of wine costs you $20. Now there's a depreciation of the rand. Now for every dollar that you take out, you get 10 rands. So this case of wine costing 100 rand, how many dollars will it cost you? Well, for every dollar you take out, you get 10. So how many rands will this imply, so it's 100 divided by 10 rand. So in dollar terms, this case of wine costs you only $10 now. So our exports, wine, the price in America has decreased. So we can expect that exports will increase on account of the depreciation of the rand. To discuss the effect of an depreciation on imports, we can use a different example. Let's say we're going to buy a product in America. We're going to import from America. And the product cost that we're going to import, say a nice pair of cowboy boots, cost $200 in America. Now, at the current exchange rate, 5 rand to a, a dollar, how many rands will this pair of boots cost you? You need to buy $200, and you pay 5 rand for every dollar that you buy. So, 200 times 5, and that is 1,000 rand. So, that is what a pair of boots costs you now. But now the rand depreciates to 10 rand to the dollar. If you want to buy this pair of boots costing $200 in America, how many rand do you need to, to take out now? Well, for every dollar that you need, you need to pay 10 rand. So, in total, 200 times 10, and that is 2,000 rand. So, the price of the pair of boots has increased from 1,000 rand to 2,000 rand. So, it's more expensive to import from America now. And therefore, we can expect that imports will decrease on account of the depreciation of the rain.